Alright, okay, so, we're solo leveling a rise, I did a video previously, um, talking about how we've got two confirmed shadows on who they are. Now, one thing to take note with the shadows that we have within solo leveling a rise is that there is going to be some original shadows coming in, aka blades right here, of course. So, clearly we can go off from the story that they go from in terms of the solo leveling IP to kind of determine on when we're going to be getting uh, the shadows that we are aware of now in between there could be a potential Original shadow coming in and we could actually get a good time frame on when we can Potentially get that and I say this is because well, there's a specific shadow coming in at a time where I Guess you could say it doesn't make sense And so that leads me to believe that we might be getting another original shadow so with all that being said, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so again, we've gone over this, you know, with the whole timeline going through the shadows. Now, uh, majority of the month, except two months, I don't think we're getting shadows. And the times that we don't get shadows is through August and November, because that's celebrate. No, yeah, so basically the celebration time, they've pretty much given us a break from getting shadows. Cool. I'll take it. Um, so, and of course, the release of the game itself, there's no new shadows, of course, which is understandable because technically speaking, the newest shadow that we're getting, Tusk, is happening in June. So we already know about that. So Tusk releases in June. Obviously, we know because the silhouette is already there. We just don't know what he's going to be bringing to the table in terms of the team buff. So that'll be interesting to see. Anyway, going back. So, um, Tusk drops in June. Um, Kaizo has an estimate drop on September and the variable will then drop in October since his birth introduction is happening from the previous storyline um, so having that in mind July July there's a new shadow happening we don't know who it is and if they again if they're going off from the storyline then realistically it should be Tusk and then the Wyvern but that's not it Unless they choose to release, because again, it's, it says estimate release, so if they want to, they can do the, well, yeah, uh, well no, floor 100 would have to, no, because yeah, floor 100 is the, is the is the high floor story arc, yeah, and that's for September, and they've confirmed that, so Kaizo has to be September, so okay, that confirms July, we are getting an original Shadow. I don't know who the original Shadow can be, I mean clearly it's going to be a boss of some sort. Um, I mean, as we know, with story progression happens, they'll have to always fit a few things in to kind of extend the story out, I guess, for the game's sake. So through that, we can kind of uh, get a feel and a vibe on who the potential new Shadow can be through the game mode itself. Because I think it was Chapter 11 when... He... Yeah, I think Chapter 11 is when the boss was introduced. Or the chapter 12. It's one of the two. I know that for a fact. So yeah, I think going forward, we will get the introduction of the newest boss, aka Shadow Extraction, um, being given to us. And that's, again, for July, by the looks of it. And so, going furthermore, so that's... So, okay, so, Tusk for June, an original Shadow for July, Kaizal for September, Berry for October, um, and then a celebration time, half anniversary, which means that the last shadow to end us off with solo leveling rise for 2023. Uh, oh, wait, we've got the Juju Island. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, level increase. Oh my god. Okay. God damn it. I don't know why I'm just. <laughs> um, but the last shadow, technically speaking, should be Jima, which is. it. I always get like a sea creature vibe from this thing. But yeah, there you go. Holds a trident. Um, I believe when it comes to the rank status of this specific uh, shadow, it's on an S S rank S rank hunter level, if I can remember correctly. So that is what's going on now. I I, I really did think that okay, what if they? Because at the end of the day, yes, the guild content is in July. Um, could they maybe switch things around? Could plans change? And if that is the case, could they drop the floor 100 content uh, in July? So that then leads into Kaizo dropping in July to then Beru dropping in September. 
and then GMO dropping in October, which then leaves December for uh, Kamish, which is a big ass freaking dragon. Um, that'd be cool, right? It's, it's, it's that goddamn red dragon <laughs> that I panicked about. Um, but yeah, that is probably something they can do, although they can probably release this piece of Shadow content um, for the start of 2025. Did I say 2023? End of 2023? Oh, does that? I can't remember. Um, but either way, I think the final Shadow for this year will be GMO, of course. And I think that, ladies and gentlemen, covers the Shadows for Solar Lemon Garize. I think the big, yeah. So we've got an understanding now. Because to be fair, I think the Barrow, well, no. How, what's, how many chapters are apart is Barrow and GMO? I think it's like plus 15, right? I could be wrong. And I feel like they can fit that in. Well, yeah, no, they can, because there's a, there's a split between the months. Okay, yeah, so, okay, that, that makes sense. Okay, cool, so, pretty much the only thing that we need to now cater to, knowing the Shadow lineup, is we need to know who the original Shadow is for July. Outside of that, boys, I think we are golden in the Shadow, in the Army of Shadow side of things. Um, of course, keep in mind, with the Army of the Shadow, we know that um, at a later time, I don't know when they're going to choose to do this, but it's going to happen. Um, with specific shadows, there are going to be weaponry for the shadows themselves. So although, yes, we are catering to and looking forward to upcoming shadows to use from bosses, etc., elites, column or two, commanders, um, we then will have to cater a little bit more to them in terms of uh, giving them weapons. There will be weaponry for shadows, so there's going to be more to come for the army of the shadows to look forward to. So it's not just going to be about the characters and rank them up and whatnot. It's going to go even further more with uh, now being having to obtain weapons for them. So yeah, that's going to be additional content. But the good news is when it comes to the shadow lineup, um, we've got an idea on the characters. The only thing that we don't know is, is who is the original shadow that's going to be coming in. There's one more original shadow for this year. The rest are as we know, but there's one that we don't know. Who could it be? But we'll find out more upon the storyline continuing on and then them just throwing in that random boss and then it's just like aha so you're the shadow that we're going to be extracting so that's how it's going to work but anyway i just kind of wanted to go over um the shadows for well all the shadows for this year to be honest keep in mind keep in mind even though i've just kind of given uh, a pretty decent timeline on like the shadow releases and, and who they are um original shadows it's a thing and it can quite easily come into place if they want to slow things down a bit if they don't want to rush into things when it comes to looking into the next shadow etc they can easily just fill in the gap and throw in an original shadow so even though i've gone through it all just bear that in mind september and october confirms the two shadows that we're getting as i've spoken about in the previous video and as i'm saying right now being Ky um, kaizo and beru of course um the december Shadow could be an original shadow. We know July is going to be an original shadow 100% because Tusk is dropping in June and the floor 100 content is in September. So July is 100% an original shadow. Um, December, they can do GMO if they want to, if they want to, but it can also be an original shadow so that way they can kind of prolong the release of uh, yeah the, the next two shadows starting from next year. Kind of crazy to say that, but yeah, that's. <laughs> that's the ultimate truth anyway that's all i wanted to talk about in the shadow side of things um yeah we'll see when they decide to add the whole weapon shadows that's going to be interesting to see oh god